Hey guys, this is Ricardo and welcome to another blog tech tips. Now today I'm looking at an issue where um, on most times it's on laptops, could also happen to desktops where you're seeing an error and the error is saying no boot device available or it's saying no boot device or no bootable device. Now it might say something like that or something along that lines, but once you're not finding um, a bootable device or a hard drive or so on, um, it's just um, the error should have a wording that's similar to this. Um, if you look on screen right here, I'll put the error or a screenshot of the error, um, what it looks like. Now on every device, it's gonna be a little bit different. Now for the demonstration purposes, I'm using a Acer um, laptop. So if yours is a little bit different, it's the same error and the procedure is basically the same. So let's get into what you're gonna do to actually fix the error. Now, if on screen, while the error is on, you're seeing some options such as F1 to try rebooting or F2 to do something, what you want to do is to find an option to get into the BIOS, right? So on some pe um, people's laptop, you'll see the second option, which is how to get up into setup or something like that. You're gonna press that key. And normally it's the functions keys up here that you'd have to press. For others, you'd have to reboot. And while you're booting up, you look out for when it says usually somewhere down here that um, you need to press F2 or delete or something to enter the BIOS. So we want to get into the BIOS. As for this laptop, what we're gonna do is use F2, all right? So as soon as it starts up, you'll see down here in the screen, I'll press F2. It came here just a while ago, but I did it very fast, all right? So you should be in this area called the BIOS. Now, if you have a mouse or a trackpad, it won't work here. So if you try to do that, it won't work. You'll have to use the arrow keys to actually move, all right? So in order to move, I'm going to go over and you see I'm on the information screen that's giving you information about the CPU and so on. So you want to move over to um, boot and remember this is to fix the no boot device available or error sounding something like that. All right. Now we're, once you're in boot here, you notice that it shows you USB, HDD, USB, FDD and the key one here is this is the main hard drive which is a HDD which is a Toshiba hard drive, right? Now, what should be happening here is that the first device should be that Toshiba drive. So I'm gonna switch the first boot device or the first device there to the Toshiba, all right? Now, in order to move normally, you'd either press enter on the option or you'd have to see what, in order to change the options, what are the keys here? So you need to press F5 or F6 to move the options. So for example, um, if I come right here, it says press F5 or X F6. So I'm gonna press F6 you can see here as you see f6 moves the option up f5 moves the option down so i'm going to move up and as you can see the first boot device is going to be here the toshiba um, hard drive now the error is caused most times by as you can see when you have a error um, that something like a cd drive or so on or some other boot device is set above the main hard drive that has windows or the operating system all right so the first thing i want to do is all right so once you have set the hard drive to the um first position as we said before if it's not in the first position such as if something like a cd drum drive is before it you might you get in the option where it's telling you to press the boot from the cd or something you don't want to do it unless you're um, setting up windows all right so make sure you set it to the first position as i said in your options it might be a little bit different so once you set the hard drive to the first option i want you to come over here to exit where you're gonna go into the option that says you want to um, save um, exit and save changes all right um, also if you want to use a shortcut you can actually hit f10 so the function key 10 will do the same thing on the keyboard all right um, so I want to just go ahead and hit that and it should save the options and then your PC should boot up. Um, for others, if you can't find the options, a quick way to do that is to come right over to exit if you can't find the boot options and just basically load setup defaults. That sometimes will find the option automatically on the boot and set back the default R drive as number one. All right, so that's a second option for most people. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, hit save and exit as we're on the option. So I'm gonna hit save and exit. Ask you yes. So I'm gonna select yes. Now, as you see, it it it, it will um, restart, and of course, it should boot right up because it's gonna search for the hard drive as you're seeing now. All right, guys, just a few things to remember. Um, if this doesn't work, on the last fix would be it for it is that because you're having a hard drive problem. In other words, the hard drive might be dead right and what's that mean here you'll have to switch out the hard drive and then reload windows i am going to have tutorials for both um, changing out the hard drive as well as 
how to install back windows if you're having that issue all right so hopefully this was able to fix it without you needing to change what hard drive all right but in most cases i would say this was the issue and you should fix it all right guys so i got it from block tech tips saying bye please remember to like comment and subscribe bye